I'm uh, delighted to have with me uh, two uh, gentlemen from the huge delegation that came from Angola today. Um, and with me is Ambassador Carlos Sardina and uh, Lelo Francisco from uh, IPEX. IPEX is the, the Export Institute of Angola. Uh, both of them are here with a huge delegation, large delegation with a lot of products, a lot of production, and a very interesting uh, expectation of work with us. So I'm going to start with you, Mr. Ambassador, thanks to your experience in Israel. Why Israel? Small country in the Mediterranean. Why do you prefer to work in Israel? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. Why Israel? Good question. We came last two months ago in June for one business forum. After this, uh, this, this business forum was invited for came to display our products in uh, Afro Machov Machov in Israel. So it means that Israel recognizes Angola as a potential. This is why they choose Israel. Okay, uh, Lelo, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, what type of product are you bringing today to the fair? Uh, thank you. So, uh, we brought uh, some local products, uh, like peanuts, uh, gingers, um, uh, coffee, yes, we have enough uh, coffee, passion fruits, uh, we have also passion fruits. Some uh, manufactured products, processes like juice, uh, that is very uh, local juice with uh, cassava and ginger mixed. Uh, so, uh, but uh, we come also to show our potentiality as country. Uh, we are uh, a very uh, agro country. Uh, we have uh, used lands, arable lands, to uh, what to, to use. Uh, we have uh, our potentiality now is uh, about uh, 35 million hectares arable lands we have, but we are using only maybe 15 percent of this potentiality, and uh, we think that uh, here in Israel we can find maybe partners for some mm, the company that we have uh, in Angola, but uh, also Israel is now in this country with uh, good technology for agriculture, and we can maybe find. Uh, uh, the technology for the, some of the products that we have in, our, in Angola. So basically as a promotion agency you have two missions. One is to increase your export mm -hmm. and the second is to bring investment yes. from Israel, right? Right. Uh, export I understand, I saw the product that you're bringing. By the way, I had the big difficulties to translate the names of the fruits from Portuguese to Hebrew. None of them are translatable, translatable and some of them we don't know at all here, like uh, Mamao, uh, uh, Yam, and uh, stuff like that. We don't know those products here. Mm -hmm. But I'm asking about the second part, the, the part of promotion of investment in uh, Angola. What are you looking for? What type of investment? Are you looking for uh, farms to be built by Israeli companies? Are you uh, talking about investment of Israel in or Israeli companies in the country in other fields yes uh, we are looking for a company from Israel uh, who is interested to to invest in, uh, in Angola as foreign company but also we are looking company that uh, they are interested to, to share and to, to to build partnership with the local companies so as the country we are open for this kind of experience as i say we are looking looking also by technology from uh, as you see in our stand we have some small company they are doing uh, uh, processing some food but uh, they have not the good technology to do, to do that and i think uh, uh, maybe some solution we can find here in the israel Okay, excellent. Yes, please, please. Please. I just want to aggregate something. Our economy is based in oil. Also, you want to profit to diversify our economy. Because oil is not uh, one product you can eat. So we need to produce things for our 
uh, our people to eat, also to export as well. This is a very interesting vision of uh, your country. Um, you, it's, it's like I noticed the same in uh, Nigeria, for example, that your countries are trying to stop the addiction to oil and to develop an economy of cleaner and greener energy. This is excellent. Uh, you're a country with a lot of sun, uh, so I guess that uh, solar energy is a must. Um, and I, I saw also the type of production or product that you're bringing and uh, uh, what I liked about the products, uh, of course I mentioned that Platano is one of my favorites, um, that you didn't bought only the raw product, the, the raw vegetable, but also the elaborated materials. Is there a way to go and elaborate to a higher level, higher industrial level, and to create superfood out of uh, Angolan-based products? Yes, that is, uh, that is the way that we need to, to follow, uh, of course. Uh, and uh, as I say, we need only to, to have the good technology to do that, uh, to try to learn uh, with, uh, with you. Uh, it's a country with the good technology. Uh, and we we already start to do some things uh, about uh, this. Uh, as I say, we have some processed food there, but we need to 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 to, to do more. And uh, I think uh, uh, in this kind of fair, we can uh, find some uh, companies that can be uh, very important for this uh, this goal, né? for this goal we want to, to achieve. Okay. Um, again, I would like to thank you very much for the delegation. It's been a pleasure hosting you here and having you and enjoy of the vibrant uh, personality of the people in your delegation. Is there anything else, Mr. Ambassador, you'd like to add before I close this transmission? You want to understand, say thank you, Israel, to invite us. Also, you want to invite the companies from Israel, the business people, the business, business associations, they are welcome in Angola to do business, to, to share the experience with Angolan companies, with Angola producers. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you today with us. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you.